This video showcases the P1 panel in two separate installation scenarios and demonstrates some of the configurations available as part of the Siemens Unassembled Panel Board or UPB program. The P1 panel is offered in 250 amp and 400 amp options. The 400 amp panel is significantly larger, giving you more space for wiring the main breaker and feed through lugs. In the 250 amp panel, the main breaker is mounted horizontally as opposed to vertically in the 400 amp panel. The subfeed space at the bottom of these panels is sized for both 250 amp and 400 amp lug kits for feed through applications, but only for 250 amp main breaker kits and subfeed applications. UPB breaker kits and strap kits are available as either single phase or three phase products. While the breaker kits are available in only the most popular amperages, the strap kits can accommodate any size breaker in the family. For added flexibility, these kits can also be used as subfeed kits on both the 250 and 400 amp panel. Other kits available as part of the UPB program include main lug and neutral lug kits for both the 250 and 400 amp panels, as well as the larger 750 KC mil lug kit for the 400 amp panel. When you open the box, be sure your package includes breaker mounting screws, a neutral bonding screw and appropriate labeling, the circuit numbering kit, torque instructions, and the installation manual. Before installing the interior, locate the IMK1 hardware kit. It includes wing nuts for mounting, screws for leveling, and necessary labeling. To install the interior, lift the frame and place the base rails on the studs. Then tighten a wing nut onto each stud. The same process is used to install the 400 amp interior. Next, install the main lug kit. This single phase panel has two main lugs and one neutral lug. The neutral lug can be mounted in one of four positions at the ends of the neutral riser. For feed through applications, this same kit will mount in the subfeed space at the bottom of the panel. Once the main lug kit has been installed, Add the filler plate to the dead front and apply the appropriate label for the amperage needed. If there was a main lug kit or main breaker kit previously installed in the panel, be sure to remove it before installation of a new main breaker kit. When you are ready to install the main breaker, remove it from the box and locate the hardware bag and instruction manual. Each breaker is securely packed and easy to remove. It comes pre-attached to the base pan and bus bars, ready to install. The main breaker goes in the top position, using two connection points to the bus in this single phase example, and four mounting screws along the base rail. Make sure to properly torque all screws before moving on. Then, install the neutral lug in one of the two nearby positions, ensuring it is properly torqued. This same kit can also be installed in the subfeed position in both the 250 and 400 amp panels. When installing a main breaker, you must also install and label the proper filler plate and the dead front. Next, we will add a single phase ED strap kit to our installation in the subfeed position. It includes the neutral lug, all necessary hardware, a dead front filler plate, and appropriate labels. Slide the kit into place, attaching it to the bus and the base rail using the hardware provided. Install the neutral lug and ensure all connections are properly torqued. Also, if you're installing a subfeed kit, be sure to remove the solid plate in the dead front and replace it with the one provided in the kit. Installing additional breakers is easy. Simply screw them into the panel in the necessary position. This single phase 250 amp panel has a branch circuit area that accepts BL, BQD breakers. If you wish to use GB breakers, an alternate three phase GB only interior option is available, though it should be noted that BL, BQD, and GB breakers are not interchangeable and cannot be mixed in the branch space for any P1 series panels. The 400 amp panel accepts a standard 400 amp main lug kit or an optional 750 KC mil lug kit. The optional kit will be installed in this example. Begin by properly placing the included three phase barrier if necessary. Then install the lugs. You can use the main positions on top or the bottom positions for a feed-through application. Once the main lugs are in place, install the required neutral lugs and be sure to properly torque all connections. Now we'll add a 300 amp main breaker. The 300 amp breaker offered through the UPB program is well packaged for safe shipping. 
It comes with all necessary hardware kits and mounting is easy with the pre-attached bracket. Appropriate lugs will need to be installed depending on whether the breaker will be used for top or bottom feed applications. Before mounting, the main lugs must be installed in the breaker. To begin, remove the cover plate and then insert the lugs. Each lug has a long and a short mounting screw. Ensure the proper screw is being inserted and torque all screws appropriately. Wire nuts must also be added and lightly tightened until proper cabling is in place. Finally, remove the bottom cover plate. This gives access to the proper bus connections during installation. To install the breaker for top feed, remove the bracket that ships with this panel. If the strap kit and breaker were purchased separately or for bottom feed installations, this bracket would not be removed. Lift the breaker and attach it to the rails, mounting it to the same holes as the bracket you just removed. Next, install the three included straps to connect the breaker with the bus bars. Mount all three loosely to ensure alignment. Then go back and properly torque each one. Finally, replace the cover plate. Neutral lugs should also be installed. Remember to include the anti-rotation plate while installing the larger neutral lug. As with the 250 amp panel, once you have installed the breaker, add the appropriate filler plate. Then lift the dead front into place to ensure an accurate fit. To install GB breakers into the branch circuit space, simply slide them into place and connect them with the screws provided. The screws are a specific length and configured for this application. They may not be substituted. While both panels ship with one aught neutral strips installed, an optional 2 watt neutral strip is available. The 2 watt strip can be installed by removing the 1 watt strip and replacing it using the two screws supplied. An optional surge protective device or SPD can also be mounted in the subfeed section of the panel. Begin by mounting the provided connectors, attaching them loosely at first to ensure proper alignment. Next, attach the SPD to the base rails using two screws on each side. Align the connectors to the SPD and then attach them using the provided hardware. Make sure all connections are properly torqued. Attach the appropriate neutral connection, being sure to properly torque it. Finally, replace the dead front, ensuring a proper fit and attach to the panel using the provided screws. When you have finished configuring the interior of your panel, the dead front can be replaced. Check to make sure the appropriate filler plates are installed then simply lift the panel and attach the four screws. The front of the panel can now be attached. Ensure the D-clips are in place before placing the front cover. One of the advantages of the fast latch front are the hooks at the base for ease of installation. Lay them across the bottom end wall and rotate the cover into place. Then open the door and attach the four screws. An optional outdoor enclosure, the NEMA 3R-12, is also available. It is a NEMA 3R housing with an added gasket, making it compliant with both NEMA 3R and NEMA Type 12 configurations. It ships with all necessary mounting hardware and a T-handle with lock and key for added security. If you need more information on this product, reach out to your local Siemens engineer, your authorized Siemens distributor, or visit our website. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.